Today I'm delighted to say we're here interviewing uh, the recipients of the, Vol uh, the Illuminous Award for Voluntary Service to UCC and in studio today we have Mary Jane Kenefick and Dick Kenefick and the uniqueness of this is we're having a joint award at the ceremony tomorrow night um, in honour of and in recognition of the 100 years of sport in the Mardike. The university wanted to come up with a unique occasion of how it could encompass the 100 year celebrations and the volunteering role of sport in UCC. I think we have a great occasion here and that we can honour a husband and wife who give of their time so many hours per week and month to the UCC and UCC clubs in completely different roles and I think it's a great honour and I think it'll be a great night and much deserved award. So without further ado, um, Dick, delighted to see you here today. Um, you're involved in UCC Men's Rugby Club, so I wonder could you just kind of give us an idea of when you got involved in the club and what, may, what, what role you play in the club at the moment? Well, uh, we're going back to, uh, 42 years now since I first came to college in 1970. And um, when we signed on, as students do, you're required to si sign on for a club and for a society. To this day, I can't remember what society I signed on for. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, I had played rugby in school, so I signed on for the rugby club. And um, within a short time, I found myself on the first team. And, uh, and that was pretty much the way it was for my time, it was uh, six or seven years in college. OK, and then obviously now your your student days are over and you're still involved in the club. Uh, and I believe you've held several roles. And right at the top, I believe you had the position of president at some stage. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I got involved when I stopped playing um, in the early 80s. I got involved a few years later with coaching the under 20s. And then once you get involved, it's hard to, it's hard to get out. Uh, <laughs> and and one I, I went from one role to another. I, I suppose I, I eventually became president in 1999 for a period of two years. Uh, and um, But I, I've remained involved and I've done various uh, various jobs over the years. What would be the major significant changes you see now through your involvement in the club in, in recent years? Well, I mean, the club has had to adapt to the changing rugby environment over the years. Um, the two big things that have happened in the last uh, 30 years really have been the advent of uh, professionalism in the game and secondly the introduction of the All Ireland League uh, for club rugby in this country which uh, brought rugby clubs out of their provinces and into an All Ireland environment and that's been very successful but also very challenging particularly from a financial point of view but it's changed the game uh, for clubs from the old order whereby um, clubs played at a provincial level, um, whether you won, lost or draw in the annual competitions, you were still in the competition the following year. Mm. But the All-Ireland League has changed all that and it's, it's, it's made rugby in Ireland uh, a meritocracy now and it's brought clubs into the, into the national scene that weren't heard of before. I mean, junior clubs like Middleton and Barnhall and uh, uh, Connemara Pirates, uh, 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 the Connemara uh, All Blacks, I think they're called. <laughs> Uh, which which is great, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's opened up the game. Mm -hmm. And do you see any other significant challenges coming in the next year or two that UCC Rugby Club will have to face? Well, the challenges are the same every year. <laughs> uh, over, the, over the past number of years, I don't suppose they'll change too much. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, the game in general is, is challenged by the, the, the current recession. Um, there's a lot of kids are, are leaving the country. Mm -hmm. um, the... the uh, there's probably they say there's more there's more people playing the game, but I'm not sure about that. Um, I mean, when I was a student, there was about four thousand students here. Uh, we had about six teams. I think there's about seventeen thousand students now, and we still only have six teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so the challenges remain the same. I, I suppose financial and and uh, um, numbers and volunteers to keep mm -hmm. the keep the show on the road. But I, I mean, I've always been an optimist in that. Um, Every couple of years, there's a crisis in college because twelve players are leaving. But you know, we always have a good intake of players from the schools, and I always like to think that the uh, the glass is half full rather than half empty. And do you see sport important to the students in UCC during their time here? Well, I, I, absolutely. I think that, that that there's no doubt about that. Um, the great thing about sport in, in the university environment is that it brings you out of your class and out of your faculty. It brings you into a sports field where, where you're meeting um, teammates from other faculties and other mm -hmm. classes, other ages. And, and it broadens your involvement and your experience. And, and I think that stands to people in the long term. Yeah. 
And this award note tomorrow night, um, the University and the Graduates Association recognising your role and your of, of the volunteer. And you see, what what will that mean to you and your family? <laughs> well, I, I, Put you on the spot. Um, <laughs> You know, you, you get involved in, in, in um, an organisation or a club or a society for all kinds of reasons, but largely it's because you enjoy it and because there's, you make friendships and camaraderie and, and, and it gives you a, a, a certain focus in your life, I suppose. Um, to be honoured with this uh, award it was something we never dreamed of. Um, uh, we, we, I was just looking at the letter from uh, Dr. Michael Murphy uh, last night and it, it arrived seven months ago and, and we thought this was a mistake um, and we said put it away you know and about a week later we looked at it again and we said Gee, we better reply to that because <laughs> they might change our mind <laughs> and uh, so yeah it's been a great honour really uh, and, and, and it's very nice to be recognised uh, having been involved for so long and, and it is unique that uh, Mary Jane uh, has been involved with the hockey mm. club as well for um, for most of her time yeah. since she's come to college. Yeah. So that's very nice. Yeah. And so that leads us nicely into Mary Jane. Um, so I suppose, again, for you, what, what does getting an award like this mean? I mean, like, you know, again, being a volunteer with the Ladies Hockey Club and it's the Graduate Association, the alumni, recognising the role that you're playing within the clubs. Well, it's it's always nice to be thanked publicly mm. for something that you're doing. And we don't do it for to get thanks, as you know. Um, and yeah. we do it because we love the game, and we love the kids. And I think being involved with students actually keeps you young and keeps your interest in the your interest in the game renews itself. Mm. I think when you're with students, and it's just um, amazing that people want to um, honour us <laughs> for what we're doing because we love it, yeah. um, and we do it. Anyway, you know, certainly and as my role as director of sport and seeing the amount of time and energy put in, I think it's awards certainly that's more than deserving and probably long overdue. Um, Thank and you. I think, as you say, most people involved in UCT sport and the volunteer, they do it the volunteer. And as you both said, it's because you enjoy doing it and you're not looking for anything mm. back as such. But I think any of these little awards, any kind of recognition you can get, I think it's well deserved and. You know, it's, I suppose it's university's way of saying thank you and it does appreciate and it does acknowledge and know that the volunteer is out there and the yes. important role they play in it. Yes. So, no, I think it's a, it's a award well deserved. Yeah. Um, so what makes you stay involved in the Ladies' Hockey Club now that your children have come um, and gone? Well, I suppose it was always my favourite game and I played in school and I played when I came to college and I still have the friends that I played in college with and I would still see them socially. And I think that's one of the best things that you get out of college sport is the friends, because you're all the same age, you're doing the same thing at the same time. You're going to lectures, you're going to training, you're playing your matches, and then you go out and have fun. And everybody's the same age. Mm. And uh, I think it's a unique way of playing sport. Yeah. It's something that you won't have when you leave college mm. and you go to another club because people will be all different ages. So do you think it's important when students come to UC that they would, for their few years, give up their time to the college clubs rather than... I, I think it is important. Yeah. Um, it's a tough one mm. because all the clubs now have underage hockey mm. and there's underage rugby as well. Mm. And the clubs want to hang on to them. Mm. Players are in their yeah. prime when they're 18 to mm. 22 or 3. And... The clubs do want them, so it's hard for us to get hold of them. Yeah. But I do believe that if they come and play with college, they go back to their clubs, better uh -huh. club people. Yeah, yeah. So I think they gain an awful yeah. lot by playing at college. Yeah. And do you think the role, let's say, the clubs here play in that the clubs are run by the students for the students, that that's a role and a valuable experience they can take back to their clubs? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the hockey club in particular has yeah. a great tradition of the kids running the club mm. and they run it so well I mean we just ran the intervarsities mm. and we had 24 teams playing 50 something matches in three days and it went off without a hitch mm. and that was run totally by the students mm. so I think that's something that they'll remember all their lives and I think it's excellent for their CV as well yeah. prepare them for life so what highlights would you pick out that you will remember from your time with 
being involved in UCC Ladies Hockey Club? Um, well, during my presidency, mm. we won the Chilean Cup twice. And that was a great highlight because yeah. it's a tough, tough competition to win. And I think that was certainly up there. Yeah. We won the Munster Cup. Um, we played in the All-Ireland League, the inaugural All-Ireland League. Yes. And also during my presidency, seven of the girls have played for Ireland. Mm. So we've had good teams and they've been very loyal to college. And it's great that college students can play for Ireland. Yeah. And I think hockey proves that, that by playing for a university team does not compromise their development. Not really, in any it? way, yeah. no. Yeah. Not in any way. Because that's a myth in a lot of the sports, really, is that if you come and play with the college teams, it could jeopardise your yes. playing career. And I think hockey is probably a good example. Isn't hockey it? is a good example. Yeah. But then we play in all the main major leagues, mm. the Munster Senior League, and as the rugby does. Yeah. And um, there's no reason why kids can't progress. Yeah. In fact, um, rug in rugby, they actually send you players to develop, don't they? Well, yeah, most most of yeah. 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 And uh, so uh, we've had the best of coaches and they have the best of facilities. So there's no reason why they can't make progress in their sport. Yeah. So again, you, I presume you'd uh, um, concur with, with Dick in saying that sport is important while they're at UCC. I think so. Yeah. I think it's um, a break away from your study. Mm. And these days, I think... The study is harder than when we were in college. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's the impression I get. <laughs> um, they seem to have a lot more exams. Mm. And they, I think the role is taken. So they have to be there. Whereas in our time, it yeah. was a bit more hit and miss. Um, and I think sport gives them a great alternative to their studies. Yeah. And um, it's relaxation for them. And I think that's very important. Mm. OK, I'd like to thank Mary Jane and Dick for giving up their time this afternoon to come in and talk to us. And I'm sure having heard them there, you will agree with me that they are most deserving winners of the Illuminous Award for Voluntary Service to UCC. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.